You are announcing cost cuts today, job cuts. They're done differently in Europe. They're done differently in America. Are these cuts coming because the Monsanto transaction has not been as efficient or as optimal as you expected? Hi, Tom. First of all, thanks for having me. And uh, uh, we announced some structural measures, actually, not today, but at the end of last year. So it's not real new news. What's new news is uh, that uh, we finished the year quite well uh, with uh, uh, strong results. A little bit better than uh, you know, I think most of us would have expected. Uh, we beat uh, uh, also our core EPS guidance, uh, actually even higher than uh, the upper range that we had guided for. And uh, we have also reconfirmed uh, our strong positive outlook for 2019. And that's against the dark backdrop of, let's say, fairly volatile markets. So we are going to grow by about 4%. We are going to increase uh, our EBITDA margin by 200 basis points for right. 2019. Okay. And uh, of course, some of our structural measures will help. The financial uh, matter is in order. We'll let Bloomberg Intelligence and the sell side describe that here in the coming days and weeks. But you have to execute job cuts. Are you hindered because you have to work within German law versus being a more Anglo-Saxon model? Well, actually, to the contrary, uh, the uh, the great advantage uh, of uh, the European, or if you want, so the German model is that uh, uh, we have actually had uh, very intense discussions with uh, uh, our employee representatives. Uh, we have come to a good agreement uh, that also takes care of our people who uh, will not be working in the company going forward. So they are going to be taken care of uh, very, very well, as we are doing always. And with that, we get actually a, a very, very good implementation. Yeah? And that is not to be underestimated, uh, looking at right. the quality of execution uh, that we will see in the company going forward. Now, let me ask a very rude American question. We're very good at that, Bloomberg, sir. Can you give us a headcount or a percentage of 118,000 employees number? Can you give us a number right now of how many buyer employees will be affected? So that's a very uh, a good question. Uh, we uh, have full transparency. Uh, we are going to reduce our uh, uh, workforce by about 12,000 uh, uh, employees uh, over the next uh, four years to come. And we do that, uh, you know, uh, as one of our employee representatives always says, buyer-like. That means by really taking care of our people so that also right. their life is going to go on in good order going forward. Where are those jobs? And I don't mean specifically in divisions, but Mr. Bauman, you did a large transaction with Monsanto. Everyone in America has their radar up right now because of large transactions, witness the debacle at Kraft Foods, and you know, there's this, that, and the other thing. What went wrong, or is it just right-sizing for a more competitive time? We have uh, undergone massive change over the last few years in uh, refocusing the company towards becoming uh, the premier life sciences company in the world. Uh, we run uh, the hands down best egg inputs company in the world. And uh, you know, looking at all attributes, it's simply the best in the world. And of course, with all of these portfolio changes, uh, we need to adjust and right size our infrastructure. And on top of that, uh, the numbers that I quoted include the integration related uh, uh, synergy effects uh, that lead to uh, job reductions where we simply have redundancies. Yeah? So it is in that context, and it's not the answer to a, a potential problem. Yeah? So we are right-sizing uh, as a means to become more, even more competitive, and also in order to further support our growth uh, and innovation investments going forward. Uh, Mr. Bauman, let me just jump in here because we are seeing some live pictures. For those of you listening to us on radio, we will also push them out on social media. The motorcade of the President of the United States of America, Donald Trump, in Hanoi as he's about to meet with the leader of North Korea. I believe that motorcade uh, in the motorcade is the beast, of course, the beast being one of the most famous uh, methods of transport for President Trump, even more famous possibly than Air Force One. Let's go back to Mr. Werner Baumer. 
Bauman, the Bayer chief executive. And Mr. Bauman, I wanted to ask you about the activist investor, uh, Paul Singer's Elliott Management, that has been on your back. We heard about that in December. We heard that he wanted you to uh, think about breaking up the company into agrochemicals and pharmaceuticals. Have you spoken to him since? Has he backed down on his request, or is that still what he wants you to do? Well, we have a clearly articulated uh, strategy that is fully backed uh, by both boards of the company that we are executing against. We see great growth prospects. Uh, we see increasing profitability. We see further focus with some of the portfolio measures that were announced at the end of uh, last year. And that's what we stand for. And that's what we are executing against. And uh, I also believe that uh, we have gotten a lot of credit for what we are about to do and what we are about to implement. As far as individual shareholder discussions are concerned, we never comment on them. So please uh, do understand that uh, I won't comment uh, on the one you quoted either. Uh, but, but what have other companies such as ThyssenKrupp learned in dealing with activist shareholders? And how can you defend your business model? What's the best strategy for that? Well, I can only reiterate where we are as a company. Uh, we uh, uh, are uh, growing well. Uh, our businesses perform uh, against the best competitors in the world. Uh, we are the leading egg inputs company in the world. Our pharma company, our pharma business, has been one of the fastest growing over the last years and will continue to grow very nicely into well into the next decade. And on top of that, uh, we see strong contributions from synergies and operating growth going forward. Yeah, so the world is okay. Uh, we are very optimistic looking forward into 2019 and the years to come.